Good evening, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I talked about this previously when they did the case study of what makes, uh, uh, why are head metalheads the happiest people alive, which I you really should check out, by the way, I really, I, I love the fuck out of doing it. But then I also got talking about where would, if for any newcomers to metal, where on earth would you start from? And I made a pretty interesting comment by saying that if you really want to, ladies and gentlemen, and you should go back to Genesis, go back to it where it really all began. And in my personal opinion, ladies and gentlemen, you have to go back to 1964. You have to go all the way back to the kinks. You really got me. And I do understand, ladies and gentlemen, yes, that Van Halen, and I've heard the cover of Van Halen's You Really Got Me in 1979. That Let me tell you, that cover is literally the perfect style of cover out there. It's not just a fresh coat of paint. It's not just listening to Van Halen do You Really Got Me. It is what you might expect. It is, it's Van Halen doing You Really Got Me. What else do you possibly want? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will be yada yada yada. Let's let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Genesis, where it really all began. In three, two, one, and. You got me so I can't sleep at night. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, you got me right there. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, let me just, I absolutely want to say this right now. And for a literally a two, a two minute song, absolutely, like this song is like a whole year younger than my own mother. And I've, God, fuck it, it is, it is, I think that it's, I was almost going to say this is like listening to like, th th like this almost like a, like a gramophone or like listening to some long lost, like historical artifact. But no, it's not any of those things. It is 
it, it, it's music. It's it's a thing you can dance to, sing to, fall in love to. But I, but the, the but the case. Let's also let's get back to the chase. Is this really the first heavy metal song ever? Without anything else really to go upon this, for the time, 1964, yes, yes, I am actually going to say, I think this is the very first one. Now, some people are, again, I know it's a contentious issue because people are very, very split on whether that is actually true. Some people think that there might be some like a very obscure group somewhere that also has that uh, that that claims the moniker as being the first to write that song. Well, the f- the first heavy metal song, I should say. There are also people out there who say that it was actually the Beatles when they did Helter Skelter, which is that they claim was the first heavy metal song out there. I might actually in take a peek at Helter Skelter, because I've actually never listened to it myself. Be, we'll be getting into some really interesting territory by actually talking about the Beatles, because in the five years I've been doing this, I don't think I've even mentioned the Beatles at all, which is kind of surprising because there's quite a lot of things I want to say about the Beatles. Revolution number no. 9, for example, the best and also the worst song ever recorded. You know, you know, you know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> also, there's then then there's also the cases of what's the first heavy metal band to ever come into being. Some people say it's Budgie. Some people will say it's Mo- Hawkwind. Some people might say it's as late as Black Sabbath. No, I don't really think it's definitely not Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is definitely not metal. But what about Jeffro Toll even? Because didn't they win like a Grammy, the first ever heavy metal Grammy in 1989? Or you know what I mean? It's we're gonna have to we've got some work to do, ladies and gentlemen, because this could turn into Oh god, oh god, what on earth will people say about this? I think I think we've got like a bit of a quest on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Like the very, like the origins of this multi layered and multi diverse genre. It branches. It is this, it, it branches and different trees and plants spawn from it. But this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the tree that gave birth to all of it. Again. Until uh, until maybe some other evidence would suggest there's another tree somewhere nearby, which is the actual tree of life or the tree of metal. We're going to have to sort of like take this as as gospel for the moment. But God damn it, ladies and gentlemen, what an experience. <laughs> Any metalhead who actually wants to claim that they're ever a metalhead ever needs to sort of like check stuff like this out because... This gives you an idea of how we got from You Really Got Me to Master of Puppets to Holy Wars The Punishment Do to Rain in Blood to Skull Crusher to Ghost Love Score to Mother Earth to Killing in the Name of. Pretty much all of those sprouted out of this among thousands and thousands of others. Good job, kinks. Very good job. So anyway, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to You Really Got Me by the Kinks. Please make sure to leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below and what you guys felt of You Really Got Me for yourselves. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.